Right, despite all that, Harvard students, they can't stop. They won't stop protesting in Israel, holding a die-in yesterday and following up today with a walkout. Our next guest says diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, efforts drive campus anti-Semitism. Let's bring in former DEI director at De Anza College and senior fellow at Do No Harm, Tabia Lee. Tabia, always great to see you. Explain how diversity, equity, and inclusion actually leads toward a hatred of Jewish students, Jewish people overall, anti-Semitism. Yes, uh, thank you for having me on, Dagan and Sean. I really appreciate the opportunity um, to really talk to people about uh, critical social justice ideology. And that's what's behind uh, a lot of the DEI efforts on many of our campuses, public and private universities. Um, what this ideology is, is it really sees the world in terms of victims and oppressors, our oppressors and the oppressed. And according to this ideology, as I learned firsthand at De Anza College, um, you know, white people are viewed as the oppressors. And unfortunately, there's a very myopic view of, um, you know, the Jewish diaspora and the diversity of it. And Jewish people are considered under that critical social justice ideology to be white oppressors. And for that reason, um, you know, we were told that we were not to focus on them and not to include them. And on many campuses, um, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing this ideology being lived out with the celebrations of, you know, the terrorist actions of Hamas um, that took place recently. And we're seeing it in the letters from student organizations. You know, it's really concerning this particular organization called White Coats for Black Lives. Uh, they have over 100 chapters at public and private universities of our medical students who have taken a Hippocratic oath to do no harm. And what they're doing, celebrating, you know, the attacks on uh, Israel and, um, you know, celebrating and calling uh, this a, uh, a response to systemic oppression and other, you know, um, talking points that are commonly used by them. It's so toxic and it's happening with our medical students. It's happening with students in all disciplines uh, where we find this critical social justice ideology on our college campuses. And our law schools as well, which is troubling. But this these college campuses and the radicalism. Uh, on the campus. It's this Marxism. It's a threat to our democracy, I think. And so what steps should be taken? Is it is it taxing, give, taking away the tax incentives for colleges and universities to get them to change course? How do we root out DEI and these other radical concepts that have taken hold, taken root in our university system? You know, one upside of uh, all of the celebrations that we've seen on uh, too many college campuses lately um, is that they're showing who they really are yeah. and what they stand for. And that's why I'm so happy, uh, Sean, to see donors uh, taking their pocketbooks and closing them, um, really researching what their previous alma maters and, and institutions they um, supported are doing, taking a look at what faculty members are saying and what students are posting and what administrators are posting or not saying is so important for donors to take a look at. And then for our legislators, uh, for them to take action to remove these programs from our public and private uh, universities, but especially our public uh, schools. That's so critical. These are funded by taxpayer dollars and they're promoting ideologies of hate. Um, yeah. They're promoting exclusion of Jewish students. Uh, they're promoting um, celebration of Iran-backed terrorists like Hamas and Hezbollah. Uh, that shouldn't be allowed on any, you know, campus. I'm deeply concerned about that and that our students are being misled and misguided uh, by people who should be teaching them to think critically and to appreciate America and, you know, even their ability to stand up and, and, and do these things. No, no doubt about that. Tabia Lee, thank you for joining us. That was great, for sharing your story. Really insightful. Thank you so much. Let's, let's not Thank defund you. the police. Let's defund these college campuses. Still waiting to hear from Stanford about that lecturer who's been suspended, who cornered Jewish students and called them colonizers, made them raise their hands. Who's Jewish in here? Who's a Jew? Go stand in the corner, you colonizers. Who is that person? And how many of them are there on your campus, Stanford?